Difficulties with the feet, legs, or lower back. So for people who generally have difficulties with the feet, that means because your feet, legs, and lower back is your connection to the earth. Mm -hmm. And if you have problems there, that means you have problems staying connected. We use the word grounded. Mm -hmm. That's your root chakra. So some of the most prominent stones or crystals that you can use to strengthen that and heal that energy are black tourmaline, hematite, obsidian, tiger's eye, and smoky quartz. Those are just some of the few. Oh. And that's why people wear them. Mm -hmm. They wear them because, you know, I'm sh I hope you all know that we each have our personal aura. Mm -hmm. We have a spiritual aura, vibration, that protects each human being. On the physical level, it's called chi. We each have our own personal chi. But on the spiritual level, we all have our personal aura. And when you have a gemstone, and you bring it within your personal space, your personal mm -hmm. aura, it begins to calibrate. It begins to heal the vibration of the organ it vibrates with. This one, um, kyanite, happens to be the gemstone for your, third, for your first eye. Some first people eye. call it third eye, but oh, no. it's only your third eye because you don't know that it's the first <laughs> eye through which you yes. exist and survive on the earth. It was given to us by the Creator to be a spiritual connection. But another part of the society that fails us is that <laughs> it doesn't teach us that we are spiritual beings <clears throat> in the physical body. Thank you. It miseducates us and tells us that we're a physical being with a little bit of spirituality. That is, <laughs> pardon the expression, ass backwards, because it is the spirituality of our connection with the Creator that brought us here, mm -hmm. through which we grow into the physical body. But again, that's another course. <laughs> so the spiritual aspect is really what's supposed to guide us, help us make decisions. And mm -hmm. if we did that, we would have less trauma and mm -hmm. drama and illness in our lives. But because we don't live by the spirit of the, the, the heart, mm -hmm. the spirit of the mind, not the intelligence, because most of us have PhDs and something other, and we stupid. <laughs> and that's not, meant in a, uh, that's not meant in a disrespectful way, but when we look at the quality of our life, thank you, and the quality of our job, they don't equal each other. We put more energy in the job than we do in the life, but that too is another class. I'm really trying hard to stay on course. I'm really trying hard. So by, by selecting the right gemstones mm -hmm. to keep balance is another way to be healthy. There are gemstones that can deal with all illnesses, kidney weaknesses, even in terms of the heart. Um, and what I do a lot of times, people will come to me and they, they will know they have a spiritual imbalance and they will ask me to make a necklace or a bracelet mm -hmm. or something they can wear to keep the gemstones within their personal aura to help them heal. And a lot of people are familiar with rose quartz. Rose quartz happens to be one is a gemstone of the heart. Okay. So, and there are a few of them. This one is also a gemstone of the heart and this one is called um, unikite. And it's pink and green. Green is also a color of the heart for healing. One of the most prominent ones is malachite. And I had this personal pyramid made wow. with, with malachite and other gemstones that expand the vibrations and the mm -hmm. healing of the stones. So that's something we really need to get into as well. There are many tools that we can heal mm -hmm. and stay balanced, but we don't use almost, almost none. Um, so it's incumbent upon us to begin to change our diet. And it's not about going on a diet. It's about eating foods that are healthy and alive. Um, drinking water. Quality water. Quality. Oh, yeah. We can, yes. yes. We can definitely get to that because behind me I have a product that's called Alkalife. One of the main things, I'm glad, so glad you brought that up. One of the main things about the quality of the water, once you hit 35, there is a thing that happens in the body that's natural. Mm -hmm. We have a natural pH balance in our body. And at the age of 35, the pH begins to change. The, um, we have too much acid and not enough alkaline. And the, the sodium bicarbonate that the body naturally produces at age 35 begins to, to 
decrease. Mm -hmm. That is the beginning of the aging process. Not simply because you're getting older, but because the pH balance begins to shift in the body. We don't know that. Nobody ever told us that. We took a whole lot of hygiene. We took a whole mm -hmm. lot of science. Mm -hmm. No one ever told us that. So at age 35, we begin to age only because the natural pH in our body begins Thank to you. shift. And that's really what drinking alkaline water is about. It's not a fad. It's Thank about you. restoring the alkaline because disease cannot exist in an, an alkaline, alkaline body. body. Thank you. Disease cannot exist in an alkaline body. We eat cheese, we drink milk. Oh yes, milk. We are the only mammals <laughs> on the planet Earth that drink another mammal's milk. milk. Thank you. We are the only mammal on the face of the Earth that drinks another mammal's milk. So we are not lactose intolerant. <laughs> There's no such thing. We're not supposed to consume milk. Once you come off the mom's breast, that's the only that's milk you are supposed to consume is your mother's breast milk. And I have to go on that because everybody knows that. That's the first milk you should have. That's the only milk you only. should have. So when we begin to drink other milk, we begin the disease process. We begin the disease process by drinking formula and milk. So water, so the alkaline water is about restoring an, an internal environment that is not disease friendly. When you drink alkaline water all the time, you will begin to eliminate the environment mm -hmm. where disease sits. Thank you. It's only in the body because you eat dead meat, <laughs> you eat dead vegetables, you don't drink water to flush anything, and you're not drinking quality water when you do. And those are simple remedies. Mm -hmm. They don't cost anything. Thank you. You don't need to look for the fountain of youth. <laughs> they don't call five. They don't, doesn't cost five thousand dollars and two thousand dollar installments. Mm -hmm. It's about changing your habits, educating yourself, and if you want to live longer, then changing your habits should be easy. Mm -hmm. um, but because we're an addictive people means we can get addicted to anything. <laughs> but we have to change our addiction. You can stay addicted. You can still have cravings and, and wants and desires. That's fine. But, but change them into something that's going to develop and build your body. Thank you. And we need you to do that with our children, too. Because our children are only a reflection. If nothing is there for it. It's our fault because we allow whatever it is that we mm -hmm. allow. So, so gems and crystals are things. And even... Um, Turquoise. A lot of us are familiar with turquoise. Turquoise is the stone of the fifth chakra, which is at the throat, and it's the stone of communication. Um, it is the bridge between the spiritual and the mundane. It is the bridge between the heavens and the earth, the, 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 the stone um, turquoise. And sometimes if you're going to make a speech, if you have to have this conversation with your boss, if you are going to present as a lawyer before the judge, if you need to communicate, mm -hmm. if you want to have a, a conversation with your, your significant other and it's going to be serious and you're not sure how you're going to put the words in, turquoise is the stone of communication. Wow. And that's why you wear stones also, to help yes. you accomplish the things of those chakras and what they're about. Um, well, I, I know that's a lot. I know. It's no, a lot. It, we need <laughs> part three, but we only got about a minute yes, left. Yes. So just give them a bunch of classes, and okay. at some point we will have you Absolutely. back. Absolutely. You have a totally lot of open, information. Totally open. So I teach class. I've been teaching for over 30 years. I started teaching almost 30 years ago, and I teach, as you see, the elemental healing herbology. Mm -hmm. I also have a DVD. I also teach herbal preparation. I teach you what herbs are, why they work. I teach you what herbs you need for which organs of the body, which ailments of the body. Um, and then by the time I teach you about herbs and I teach you about the organs of the body and I teach you about the chakras, there's no tool that you are missing to stay healthy and heal. I teach herb classes twice a month at a location called TRS which is 44 East 32nd Street on the 11th floor. I'm there twice a month, all year round. Uh, visit the website, www.sacredhealing7.com. Um, 
My email address is my name, Zakia, Z like zebra, A-K-I-Y-Y-A-H, Zakia, 